Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy MTG back here with another video today. And today I'm going to be going over the cheapest way to get training inside Madden 22 Ultimate Team. Obviously you guys are going to want tons of training, whether it's the Zero Chill stuff, bow nose packs, heavy weights, veterans, flashbacks, rising stars, whatever it is. You guys are going to want training, or just power up your players in general. If you guys like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on post notifications. And without further ado, let's hop right to the video. Alright, you, you guys can see, we're here at the main menu here. We're just going to go into auction block first up. You know, the standard way to get training is finding the players for the cheapest prices. So right now, prices are about 10.5. If you guys remember, they were about as low as 5.5 during the Blitz promo. So a full 5 coins up per training point, so that's pretty significant. But we had over here, probably the best one you're going to find is 91s for around 70k, I'd say. Uh, let's see if we can actually find any over here on this little refresh. As we do not, the cheapest one up is going to be 80k. So obviously you're not going to want to buy that. Other filters, you know, Rising Stars is always a good one. Let's see if there's any up here. Nothing there. Uh, we had over, Veterans can usually be one where you could find stuff. Just looking around at commonly like use filters with 891 overalls you know veterans heavyweights flashback rising stars legends not really i mean you can find some team of the week here and there they're nothing crazy but who knows maybe you find a snipe as we do not here so overall you're gonna be looking for around you know 73 to 7500 or 73,000 75,000 coins for 91 overall uh we head over here 92 93 is also a good one to look at Standard 92s you could sometimes see for about 110. Uh, 93s for about 140 is usually a good price. As we've not seen any on the Legends filter, we can head over here. Maybe we see something on uh, Team League filter. We'll check it out. Maybe we see something over here. 120. Josh Allen, 145. That's not a terrible price. It's about 11, but you can definitely get them cheaper. So just be cautious. Be looking out for them. Um, also, do not buy zero chill cards because they don't sell for training. They sell for snow. So to keep that in mind, so like you would go to the 90, 91s over here and you'll see for about 65K. That's, they don't quick sell for 7,000 training. They quick sell for about 56,000 snow. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to teach you some other ways to get cheap training because buying it is pretty standard. But there is a lot of other ways to get training in this game, which is very, very cheap and can make you some coins if you use it in the training store. So we're gonna head over here. First thing we're gonna to want to go to is the Gridiron Guardians. If you go over to the champions, some of these champions will sell for about 180k. I sold Fred Warner for 200 today. Jalen Ramsey, I can sell for about 180. Same Chris McCaffrey and Aaron Rodgers. And you're just gonna quickly look at the prices it costs to build these sets. 390 overalls, about 60k a pop, about 180. So if you can sell the card for let's say 190 and take off the tax, you're losing about 9k, but you're gaining about 3. That, or 3,750 training simply because you get three NCAT players. So that's just one way to also make a little bit of training on the side. It's nothing crazy there. Not too bad though. Another thing you can do is with these most feared sets, Kyle Juszczyk, you can sell for about 220 on a good day. I can't actually look up the prices right now, but you're going to be able to find them for about 60K as well. So if you build a set for 240, you take off, you know, 40K my, or divide that 40K by five. If you guys are following the math, you're following the math. If not, you're not. Um, it's about eight coins per training point there, which is very, very solid. Uh, Harvest cards, if you can sell the master for around 280, which it's kind of a tough ask, but who knows, maybe you can actually sell it off for that. As you guys can see, the cards here are going for around 120. You can find them for about 115. We'll say it costs 345 to build the set. After tax, you're basically about 75K. Divide that by 7,500 training, which you get from the NCAT players. You know, it's about 10 coins per, which really isn't that much of a W, but it is a W nonetheless. Um, so overall, those three promos, you can definitely get some cheap training out of. Um, really nothing else. I'm not going to lie, guys. Training is kind of hard to come by right now. And honestly, the market's just in a weird place because people are preparing for the presents to open. And I'll have a video actually talking about what I think about you should do with the presents and kind of how you should prepare for that market crash coming Christmas Day. Probably tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I will have a video coming soon. But just keep an eye out for that. But that's kind of the cheapest way to get training and how you guys can start building up your training stack. And there you guys have it. If you guys like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on post notifications. Really, you know, I'm so thankful for the support you guys have been showing me all this year, you know. Been uploading for about two months now. We've been getting a lot of support. 135 subscribers is insane, guys. Keep up subscribing. If you're new to the videos, just like, subscribe, comment down below. It means the world to me. 
and I'm NTG. Peace out.